Hello there! Today I'm gonna make a tutorial about how to import custom material textures on AAPG for Unreal Editor so you can customize your game. So let's jump onto it. So as you can see here, I got this wall with the default PGK texture which is ugly and I will show you how to put here a really really nice wallpaper and let it be beautiful so let's get started open up your browser and just search for a texture that you like now this is not complicated but you might find textures that doesn't have shadows like this one doesn't have that dirt display they have to be clean textures let's find here one like this one that is a good texture but I'm not using this one why because it's not proportional it's not um, square have to be square to have better view on it let's look at this so this you can see a little darker in the outside so it's not going going to make our thing let's search here for a good texture oh and always check that they aren't watermarks on your texture so let's look into this this one looks great yes it's proportionally yeah it's proportionally cut it out so it means that if you when it gonna goes to repeat the texture it doesn't goes to appear that the texture has been cut it so let's save this can be here. Now open up Photoshop or any program software that you can export into TGA. So I think it's this. So it's good enough. Save as TGA. Now let's go here. Documents and make a folder. Let's call it tutorial. Tutorial. And just save it. Let's save it as. Well, texture and let's put it size. Well, you should put it size before so you can know the size of the texture, but let's save it like this. Press OK when finished and jump on the Unreal Editor. So now that you are in your Unreal Editor, you're going to simply open Content Browser there already and you go to new package so your new package you press import and you are going to documents tutorial let's open the TGA file let's copy it no not here let's call it custom assets why do I not put it in my mad package because I'm cooking the assets and it might make some errors to it and I, I don't want to ruin my work with this so let's just go up here as texture always re remind to group so you can find better so you can see here this error message it says that the texture you are important is not a power of two. So what that doesn't mean. Power of two is 
um, like 64 by 64, 100, 128 by 128, and EDC. So it's not powered by two. So I just make yes. Doesn't really does anything. So here it is. Well, you can see we cannot apply it to it. So let's just make a new material and apply it. Get on the grouping. No materials. Done. So now you can see it's still this material. And if you put it, it will go black. So let's edit using material editor. As you can see now, here we have the texture sample and if you press control and move it you can see the two options that we got so let's just pick this and move it to diffuse as you can see now here you have your material it's really high resolution let's just apply once applied, notice that the material is there, and if you get closer, it's really high resolution. It still looks like it's cut it, but you might just search around for a better material. So let's apply it to all the walls, and you really quick you realize there are little few points there that float there and what you're gonna do to this is let's jump right into the game as you can see from the distance you see there are a lot of points you can fix this by altering the max distance of detail but let's get into a simple and more performance friendly way so here on Photoshop, you what you're gonna s do is do image size, and you just do it to 124 to 124, 124 by 124, and you just press OK. You can put a lower, but 124 is what I recommend to put on. So let's call this 124 by wall texture so here what you what you're going to do is just open your compound browser and import and we are going to do the same thing as we did before There we go. Not this. Sorry. Get new material. Let's link this. And now you can see it's not that high resolution, but it, you will not notice too many changes on it. So let's apply and apply the material. So at first you can see a real big difference on the points. The high resolution goes off and there we go from the outside. It doesn't look weird or high disturbing because it disturbs me. So let's go not that bad and it's an actually really beautiful room to look so if this helps you out then it's good for me that I helped you out so bye